Hi, this is John Reed of JohnERP.com. I don't have much time to shoot this video. Craig Schmehill issued this last minute video challenge and I think I've only got about 24 hours to pull this out and get it up. So I really want to honor the challenge and rise to the occasion. Uh, you might be wondering about a lot of the visual stimulus you're seeing on the camera here. Uh, there's a few different things going on. One is my um, rock and lamp behind me is actually lit in this video. Someone was asking me what it was. Uh, you can't really see it. It's probably a flash of light, but uh, that gives you some idea. Uh, I wish I could turn the lights off to give you the full effect, but I uh, can't do that with my limited uh, technical assistance on staff tonight. I'm also wearing a couple different hats. I'm wearing my cool uh, Enterprise Geeks Truckers hat on top of a uh, hat I've been wearing frequently in the cold weather in Massachusetts, which is my little flappy hat. One of my pom-poms fell off, so that's a little bit of a fashion tragedy that I'm looking into. Uh, underneath my hat is probably another hair disaster. I really haven't paid attention to it today, but my hat was a little, my head was wet when I put the hat on, but so let's see. I don't know what that looks like. Probably not very good, so uh, I think I'm going to don my SAP mentor cap now uh, for the rest of the video. But Craig wanted to talk about professional challenges we've faced over the years, so I thought I would just share with you some themes that I've been dealing with this year. Uh, it got off to a rocky start. It's been a, kind of a hard year, I think, and for a lot of people. Uh, and hard isn't necessarily all bad, uh, because it can really be the edge that hones your skills and forces you to uh, rise to a new level, perhaps. Um, but I entered this year, as I said on Twitter, a couple of weeks ago losing my biggest client and I kinda wish I had lost that client because they didn't like my work but unfortunately I lost that client because they just really lacked the resources at that time due to the amount of difficulty in the consulting market in SAP and that's kinda been a theme throughout the year and so a lot of my clients historically have been consulting firms that I work with and so a lot of reinvention was in order and I realized during the year that there's a lot I could offer third-party software providers and SAP solution providers, not just consulting firms, and that shift in focus has helped me a lot. And so reinvention is really one of the big themes that I guess I would mention as far as things to think about in terms of how you face challenging economic circumstances either on an individual level or beyond. So that's one theme. The other thing is just the proliferation of information. I feel like I entered the year kind of feeling overwhelmed by everything from Facebook messages paying my phone to a bloated email inbox to not being sure about how to approach Twitter, how to get the information I needed. And I really spent the year kind of honing in on how to prioritize and filter information for myself. And I think everyone has a different answer to that question, but I think it's vitally important that we figure out how it is we prioritize what we need to be taking in at any given point because there's so much out there we can get lost in it all and for me I really need to be tracking SAP market trends uh, but I need to do it in such a way where uh, my most important clients ping me right away when they need me uh, and then I don't want to get lost in a bloated email inbox when I need to work on one specific project so figuring out how to sort through all that is really a challenge for people and, and but I think you have to embrace it and see your way through it so that was a big theme for me this year and yeah I'm not really a technical cutting edge guy in the sense that you know, Google Wave kind of intimidates me and I only got a Blackberry just last May for Sapphire but despite that I think I've done some good things I have uh, worked on my Gmail as a way of configuring and prioritizing email in a better way than I was doing before and uh, and then with my Google Reader setup, I have figured out how to track key sentiment analysis for my clients. In other words, conversations people are having about them or leads that they might want to pursue. So I've kind of configured all that, set it up, figured out how I can monitor it without getting overwhelmed. And then the other piece of it is kind of sharing. Uh, so I started sharing that news reader that I'm tagging stories in because that's the other lesson is if we're doing work, why not share it? Because sharing allows us to collaborate more, get in conversations, and maybe increase our visibility along the way. Uh, the other big theme of the year for me was community. Uh, I'm definitely just deeply honored to be an SAP mentor. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, in my years in SAP, I never totally felt 
at home in any one particular group of people. And, uh, you know, for me, the mentors have kind of found that identity for me uh, at this late stage in my SAP career, and it's pretty cool. Uh, like at the SAP Influencer Summit in Boston in December, I remember late at night on the last night, I found myself sitting at a table with four other mentors, and I think it was like Dennis Howlett and Dan McQueenie and uh, Dagman Parnas and Tony D. Tomasis, but it didn't really matter who it was. It was more just, I was like, man, these are my peeps, and I think we all need to find that in the SAP world somewhere, people that we identify with, and the mentors have done a lot of cool things this year, but the good thing to keep in mind is it's not supposed to be an elite group of kind of chosen ones. It's supposed to be people that serve the community's needs and interests. And a lot of us are on Twitter, so make sure to follow us, SAP Mentors, on Twitter and follow us individually. Many of us are active and engaging in conversation. I think that's how it should be. And I think something Craig talks about that I really believe in is that we're really moving into an era where our expertise is defined as much by our community collaboration as it is by our individual pursuit of excellence. And so I think that's a shift that we should all be mindful of. And the mentors are just one example of that in the SAP world, and there's many other ways to collaborate. So that's another key theme of the year. And then the final thing I guess I would say is that I think what I do is I try to combine tactics and refinements. So in other words, like, God, my email inbox is a complete nightmare. How can I find a way to prioritize and route messages so I get pinged when I need it? So that's a tactical thing. But then there's a creative piece, which is, how can I create meaningful work that I'm proud of and form a business model on top of that? And even if you're working for an employer, I think the same sort of principle applies, which is, you know, a lot of us in the 90s in SAP thought we were all headed for early retirement. And it's been kind of a, a cold shower to realize that that's not going to be how it plays out for a lot of us. But we still love our work. So how can we put as much of ourselves into our work as possible? How can we, quote unquote, put some soul into what we do? And, you know, I think sometimes we can see too much. And uh, to, to harp on Craig one more time, you know, Craig went and got official permission from SAP Legal to do his Friday morning report series. And what that shows you is, yeah, I want to take some initiative to do something that has my individual stamp on it. And a lot of people, it wouldn't have occurred to them, I don't think, to get permission from their employers. They would have just said, well, they might not approve that or I better not do that. So if you make a resolution for next year, my vote is, be a little bolder in what you do. Take a few more chances. Maybe get permission if you need to, but try to create a professional life that is closer to the soul of what you do because I think a lot of us are going to be doing this for a while. So hopefully it'll be a good year in 2010. I look forward to seeing you online at the SAP Community Network. And thanks, Craig, for the video challenge. This is John Reed, johnnyrp.com.